Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Iskovitz from here at Fox 26, and I want to thank you for checking in with us, trusting us for your tropical information, including the latest on Fiona, which is right now a bit of a ragged tropical storm. As of Friday afternoon, it's packing winds of about 50 miles per hour, continuing to move off toward the west, and so it is impacting the islands here of the Northeast Caribbean, places like Guadalupe, Antigua, and later on today, uh, and heading into late Friday, early Saturday, uh, brushing by to the north of uh, Puerto Rico as well, and it could bring actually the chance for some heavy rain and the threat for flooding to places like the Dominican Republic, maybe Haiti, depending on how far south it goes. So this is the Saturday, the Sunday and the Monday position. If it passes over land here, remember these are very high mountains on the island of Hispaniola up to about 10,000 feet. So that tends to tear these things up. If it does stay to the north of that island, then it will have a chance to strengthen a little bit more. Right now, the National Hurricane Center shows it becoming a Category 1 hurricane by Wednesday, so we shall see. Is there any chance of it getting into the Gulf of Mexico or coming near Texas? The chances are very, very slim. So I wanted to show you the uh, computer models of the so-called spaghetti plot in this um, sort of this fatter line here in the middle, which we call the GFS Ensemble. That's the average of uh, all of the different runs of our American GFS computer model, and you take the average, and that generally gives you a really good idea of where these things are going. We also have uh, lots of other models plotted on here, including uh, the Canadian model and this uh, H Wharf, which is the Hurricane Weather Research Forecast model. Bottom line is, not pointed at us, but anywhere from the Caribbean up to the Bahamas and back over to Bermuda, they'll be watching this thing. Looks pretty ragged when you check out this imagery, which is the uh, infrared satellite imagery, but look what happens when I zoom in here and show you the visible imagery. That looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Let me get out of the way. So this thing really has actually a very vigorous circulation. It's just that there's, um, it's uh, all of the thunderstorm activity is off on the uh, east side of it, but it is pretty amazing to see that as it moves toward the Caribbean an island of Guadalupe. Now we are at a part in the season when we're still at a high level of activity, but we're definitely on the downslope as far as the climatology goes. So uh, we shall see what the rest of the season holds. But for right now, there's really nothing else urgent out there. In fact, there are only two areas that we're watching and none of them has anything more than a 20% chance for development here over the next five days. So we'll have another look at the tropics for you right here on your Fox 26 social media platforms. Have a great weekend.